It is time for a new makeup tutorial with blue eyeshadows because blue is awesome, especially on brown eyes. Well, let's get started! I'm using this pore reducing product to get rid of my big pores. As usual, I'm starting off with a primer and trust me, I already took too much of this primer because a little goes a long way. I'm mixing together my current favorite foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me. A matte foundation with a little bit of this Tatcha Camellia oil and just spread it all over my face. This is the shadow cream from Bobbi Brown and I suggest to use this as a base because it's the bomb.com. With this pencil from Benefit I'm going to shape my brows. This is Creme Brulee, an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply this on my crease. Actually all the eyeshadows that I'm going to use are from Makeup Geek. For a deeper effect I'm using Cocoa Bear which is a really popular eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I know why because the shade is so pretty. This is really troubling but I don't remember which shade I used next. It could be Nautica or it could be Center Stage. I actually believe it is center stage because it has a purplish touch in the eyeshadow, but any blue will do, so take what you have. This is a water shadow from Kiko Milano and I applied this on my inner corners. I actually wanted to add it in this look because I absolutely love these shadows. Here I added another darker brown to my crease and this shadow is also from Kiko Milano. Here is a small eyeliner tip. If you have a deep crease that falls almost beyond your eye, then line your eyes with your eyes open because that way you will get a straight line and it's easier to control your cat eye. Next step is to tie line the waterline and I'm also going to drag the pencil liner on my lash line. Next step is to highlight the brow bones and I love using shimmery whites for it. Since this is a creamy consistency, I'm going to use my fingers to wash it out. First I was thinking about not applying fake lashes so I curled my lashes which I regretted because afterwards I did apply my lashes and it was kind of hard to apply them with my lash curled. Anyways, time to brighten up the under eye area and to get rid of any imperfection that is still left on your face. The Maybelline Fit Me is my favorite drugstore concealer because it is so good. This contouring stick from Kiko Milano is awesome. I absolutely love this and look at the shade. It is pure matte and it's pretty dark. I did took a dark one because I like using dark shades on my skin. I don't know why but they do work for me. So I absolutely love it and it's time to contour. Once everything is nicely blended, let's apply some powder. As usual I'm going to line my lips first because I'm going to outline them as well. This is a lip cream from L'Oreal and I absolutely love this shade but I think I did mix them up. Not sure anymore. That's what happens if you don't write down all the products that are used right afterwards. Here I'm just contouring in random spots where I still felt like I needed a little bit of more dimension. This is the Narcissist palette and I absolutely love it. The shadows are really pigmented so I suggest to actually dab the product on your palm of your hand just like I did before and then apply it on your face because a little goes, goes a long way. I noticed that I don't have many highlighters so I'm always using the same ones. So let me know down below if you have any suggestions of good highlighters because I'm not a pro at it. Lastly I applied some mascara. Well here we go, the look is completed. I just absolutely love blue on brown eyes. Thanks so much for watching and see you all in my next video. Bye bye!